Hello everyone, my name is Wu Xia. Today I would like to present you this paper, Building Occupancy Predictions Through Machine Learning for Enhancing Energy Efficiency, Air Quality, and Similar Comfort, Review and Case Study. I am currently a PhD student in Nottingham University, and here's my profile and the journal outline of this research. First, building plays an important role in the total energy consumption, and their many factors affect building energy consumption like the weather, materials, and occupancy behavior. However, occupancy behavior is one of the most significant considerations of buildings and system design, because occupancy behavior is uncertain and it varies a lot from different people. Therefore, it is important to find a way to predict what the occupants doing in the building accurately and to calculate the energy consumption. Since the initial task of buildings is to provide a comfort environment for occupants inside, in the past, the way to evaluate the occupancy similar comfort is using index like PMV, which only considers the physical effects of the environment. Now, it is commonly agreed that comfort is concerned from the perspective of both the physics and the physiology of the occupants. This picture is from a previous research. They divide factors affecting occupancy comfort into outdoor environment, indoor environment, personal factors, and other factors. Building modeling and simulation is an active area during the last several decades, so there are a lot of different kinds of models. One way to classify this model is to divide them into three kinds the white box, black box, and gray box. The white box, which is a physical model. This is the traditional way of building energy models, which requires detailed building envelope information and professional training of architectural knowledge. However, in these models, the occupancy information are absent. In fact, it usually takes a maximum room occupancy, which cannot be accurate enough. Therefore, with the rapid development of computer technology, like machine learning and AI, the black box or the data-driven approach has shown great potential in building energy models to simulate and predict uncertain facts in buildings, like occupancy behavior, similar comfort, energy loads, and air quality. The data-driven approach does not need detailed building information, and it already showed good accuracy and improved the building performance in the past research. This picture shows the number of studies that use machine learning on building prediction in last decade. And it is clear that the number of studies rise a lot in the last five years. And after reviewed all these 115 papers, I conclude a typical flow of occupancy prediction by using machine learning, which is in this picture. Usually the step of occupancy prediction can be divided into data collection first, then machine learning and validation. I will explain the details of different process later. Data collection for building occupancy information usually need to use sensors. There are many sensors in past research which can be divided into direct counting sensing and environmental sensors. The direct sensors can record occupancy information directly, like using several internet things and a camera. On the other hand, environmental sensors use indirect ways to record occupancy behavior, like motion and sound sensors or power meters. For my research, I will choose camera to collect the occupancy information, since it can not only capture the occupancy state, but also detailed information like the position of occupants and movements, which can be used in more detailed studies. Data mining technology is a popular way to process the raw data collected by sensors, because raw data may have several issues, including missing data or sudden drops. To solve these problems, Data mining technology, including SVM and the decision tree, are introduced by many researchers. These two algorithms are also the most common supervised methods used in data mining in past papers. After the processing for data, it can be used in machine learning. The problem is there are a lot of algorithms and new algorithms keeps coming out with the technology developing. It is hard to say which algorithm is the best, since it depends on what kind of problem you are dealing with and also what kind of data structure you have. Therefore, I conclude some of the most popular algorithms for different applications, including occupancy state prediction, indoor air quality prediction, energy consumption prediction, and similar comfort prediction. 
and the suitable case for this algorithm is listed here, which can help to choose the suitable algorithm for detailed cases. For this research, a CNN-based algorithm is chosen since it is good at dealing with pictures, and we use camera to collect occupancy information. In conclusion, the research gap we found is listed here. First, the starting of summer comfort is not much compared to other applications, but it is very important and it will affect other related factors in buildings. Second, it is hard to find a typical or standard framework in this area, since it can vary a lot in different situations. Last, due to privacy and other reasons, the new imaging and similar comfort voting application has showed good potential, which is also the reason we use camera as sensors in this research. Therefore, the aims and objectives of this study are listed here. The main aim of this project is to propose a modified CNN model that enables occupancy prediction to better understand the occupancy behavior within a building space. I will explain the details in later sliders. The diagrams here represent the framework approach. Deep learning techniques were employed to develop a vision-based detector. It enables real-time detection and recognition of occupancy within an indoor space. Detection results were recorded in form of the generated deep learning inference profile. These results were used to provide different system responses designed to assist the HVAC control system in providing adequate indoor thermal comfort and air quality while improving the building energy performance. In the next following sliders, I will discuss each of these steps. To develop a vision-based deep learning detector, two main steps were performed. First, the images of people were gathered to form a data set. These images were labeled of interest on each, as shown here. Once all images in the training and testing dataset were labeled, a suitable CNN-based model will be selected and configured to allow the training of the models to form the detector. Second is the application of the trained model through the real-time detections in experimental tests in the selected case study. A study space in Parton House building at the University of Nottingham was selected to test the proposed vision-based detector. The model was deployed from the connected laptop to the camera, as shown here, from the room setup to allow real-time detection during the experimental test. Here's the room floor plan and layout, and here's the view from the detection camera, which provide a wide-angle vision enabling a large detection region. This presents an example of real-time detection with the generation of deep learning inference profile. As shown, during most of the tests, there are eight people in the test room. The model provides accurate detection for most of the time. However, there are still errors in detection. It can be seen that there are times when the count of occupants was missed, and that there were occupants detected when actually no people. For instance, an occupant stood up and blocked the view of other occupants. Therefore, it suggests a further improvement and should be made to current model. In reality, the detection and recognition results from occupancy profile were directly notified occupants and building control system to monitor the HVAC system. However, for analyze, the deep learning profile results will fit to create building energy simulation cases to form building energy performance analyze. A lecture room in the University of Nottingham was modeled in building energy simulation analysis to investigate the influence of building performance. The building conditions were assigned and a combination between the use of a series of different deep learning inference profile with typical constant profile was contacted. The experimental test consisted of a total of eight people in the space, showing the generated deep learning inference profile from the detection made. To compare the typical static profile, typical office one represented the average heat gain by all occupants performing standardary activities. Typical office two represented the average heat gain by all occupants performing high intensity activities, such as walking. Average percentage difference between the deep learning inference profile and typical profile 1 and 2 
was 2.7% and 22.8% respectively. It suggests that the deep learning inference profile provides a more accurate estimation of the number of occupants in the detected space, given the corresponding values in terms of heat gains. The diagrams here shows that various deep learning profiles were generated to enable the analysis of the impact of building energy consumption and thermal comfort. Results indicated that the use of the typical Office 1 and 2 profiles will be deficient in terms of building operations as the HVAC system does not re reflect upon the actual building requirements. The occurrence of over or under estimation of occupancy gains will lead to poor building energy performance. The diagrams here present the predicted heating and cooling levels during typical winter and summer days. The results suggest that using pretty fine assumption for occupancy gains can lead to inaccurate estimation in energy demands, which lead to the increase towards unnecessary building energy loads. Furthermore, by depending on the occupancy level, slight adjustments to the room set point temperature can be made to improve the space similar condition. Consequently, this can affect occupants' productivity and quality of life while significantly affecting the energy demand of the building. Here are the conclusions of this paper. It developed an initial demand-driven deep learning-based framework for detection and recognition of people within a building space, and the average detection accuracy is around 18%. Here listed some of the future works that should be done. In general, the deep learning model need more improvement in detection accuracy to provide more accurate system response. And more common occupancy actions or activities recognitions should be made. Thank you for listening. Here are the email address of the authors. Please contact us if there's anything.